Vulcan Lock Ring Lock Ring is a technology enabling the joining of copper refrigeration pipes without the use of brazing equipment or the need for nitrogen flowing. Instead, using fittings and compression techniques to make a joint so well that the tube is more likely to fail than the lock ring joint. Temperzone has independently tested lock ring joints to 19 bar. That's about 2800 psi where the copper tube itself began to bulge. How does it work? Well, the joint is made using a connector fitting that has a lead-in taper to assist with the initial assembly. The second and sealing taper compresses the tube to its elastic limit. The third and last taper compresses the tube beyond its elastic limit and ensures the tube cannot be pulled out, making a perfect joint every time. OK, how do we make a joint? Well, step one. Clean the end of the tube in a radial fashion, just as you would normally for any braze joint. Then, using the lock ring mat, slightly rough up the outside of the end of the tube. Step 2. Ensure you have the correct insert. While some joints are possible without using an insert, Temperzone strongly recommends to always use an insert and be 100% sure of the joint. Step 3. Insert the insert into the tube end. If it seems simple so far, well it is. Step 4. Take the compression ring and slide this onto the tube. Then apply some lock prep solution all the way around the tube end. There are two types of solution, one more suitable for warmer climates and one for moderate climates. Step 5. Insert the tube end with the compression ring already on into the connector fitting and make sure it's pushed fully home. Make the joint straight away. Step 6. Using the lock tool, which we will show you in a moment, compress the ring onto the connector body. This takes a little effort, just like pop riveting, but the lock tool is designed to do most of the hard work for you. Once both sides of the connector are completed, wipe off any excess lock prep and the joint is now complete. As mentioned previously, there are two types of lock prep solutions. LT solution is good up to a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, which would suit New Zealand conditions most of the time. HT solution is suitable for temperatures above 25 degrees Celsius. Now, let's see how easy it is in the real world. Here is an example using 6mm or quarter inch copper tube. The tube is cut and the end cleaned up just as we described earlier. Lock prep is applied all the way around the tube end. You may notice that no insert is being used. Temperzone recommends inserts always be used. Make sure the compression ring is put on first. Now here is the lock tool being used to make the joint. Let's move on now to a larger pipe size. You may just pick up that an insert has been used this time. It's already in place. The fitting is used to spread the lock prep solution and once the connector is pushed onto the tube, the compression ring is brought up to the connector and again, Using the lock tool, the ring is compressed onto it. As you can see, little effort is required. The tool takes care of the hard part. One more time. Again, the lock prep solution is applied all around the tube end. The compression ring is placed on the tube. The connector fitting is pushed onto the tube end and is turned to help spread the lock prep solution. The compression ring is brought up to the connector and making sure the tube is pushed hard into the connector, the fitting is again compressed using the lock tool. It makes sense to prepare sub-assemblies at floor level before moving on to making joints in ceiling spaces. Lock ring is not new, it's been around a long time designed back in the 1960s and gradually developed until being introduced to refrigeration in the 1980s. There are now more than 1.2 billion lock rings in service and use is growing all the time. They were used extensively on the Spring Hill Prison contract near Hamilton. Lock ring, the modern way to make joints in copper tube. Available now from Temperzone.